Fair flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. So, will my voice be picked up now? Okay. So first, uh, I, I want to thank, uh, this is our first Zoom meeting. Um, I'm sure we'll have more uh, for different reasons. But I want to thank uh, our uh, technician, Sean Lackahan. I want to thank Regina Taylor. And I want to thank Todd, our engineer, for working together to make all this happen. And now that we've done it, the next time will be easier. And we're all on board. So I want to thank you three guys for this. Okay, thank you. Um, I want to uh, open up the uh, public hearing. Good. Just started. I want to open up the public hearing on uh, the community development application that we've applied for for 2021 funding. Um, the county uh, uh, has been very good to us and uh, um, with our past request. And uh, if I could have our engineer who. Uh, did the application for us along with Regina Taylor, but if you can just describe it to us in general, what it's going to be, what it what it's going to go towards if we get it. Sure, we uh, are applying for this grant. Uh, it was the same grant that we applied for last year um, for the senior center for work uh, to put a new drop ceiling in to bring the duct work down to, uh, to that ceiling, to put new LED lights into it to add um, a handicap ramp to the outside. I'm not sure if you're familiar right now, but the east side of it, the stairs that are there are really, really uh, bad, need to be replaced, and we're looking at doing a handicap ramp instead along the side of the building to come in there off of the transition to grade from the back of, uh, like where the park restaurant is, off into the, uh, to that area. One, one question before, I'm sorry to interrupt. I wanna, can you hear us? Can they hear us? They're, be they're both muted. She's shaking her head, she can hear, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Yep. Okay. Sorry. So the uh, yes, so uh, handicap ramp as well as a small patio on the back of the uh, senior center, so uh, the, the seniors can go out and uh, and have an area to uh, like a garden area or whatnot off the back. Uh, but we're looking at one hundred twenty-five thousand um, dollars. I've worked with the CDBG and Gina has as well to get this to where we think it needs to be in order to uh, make sure that we have the best shot of getting the award. But what we need right now is the board to uh, to approve, approve a resolution to uh, uh, file this application so we can get it submitted by tomorrow uh, and uh, get things rolling. Thank you, Todd. So as I open the public hearing, before I close it, I would like to know, is there anyone um, here or uh, on, Zoom. on Zoom that uh, has a comment? Um, and I should have done this in the beginning, but just so everyone realizes, uh, the, the public notice for this was put in the Times-Herald record. Um, I know that the local reporter had it on Facebook. Uh, we have it on the Village website, and it's on the Village front door. So we advertise over and above, which we always do. But is there anyone uh, on Zoom or uh, here that has any comments? If not, um, I'll close the public hearing. You need a motion to close the public hearing? Motion to close the public hearing. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Next uh, on the agenda is a resolution to approve the Community Development Block Grant 2021 funding application. Whereas the Village of Holland Falls actively pursues grant opportunities, and whereas the Village seeks funds under the Orange County Community Block Grant 2021, and whereas the application must be submitted by June 26, 2020 to be eligible for consideration of this grant. Now therefore, be it resolved that the Village of Holland Falls is hereby submitting its application for consideration under fiscal year 2021 Orange Urban County Consortium Community Development Program. And the chief elected official or executive officer 
is hereby authorized to sign and submit this application for the Village of Holland Falls Senior Center improvements as described in the proposal. Input from citizens and groups has been received and considered and the application has been prepared which addresses these community concerns. They further certify that they have read the and, under, and understood the Orange Urban County Consortium Community Development Guidelines for fiscal year 2021 program year and have met all of its applicable requirements and that the information contained in the application is accurate and true to the best of their knowledge. If awarded the Community Development Block Grant funds, the municipality shall implement the activities in a manner to ensure compliance with all federal, state, and local laws and regulations. May I have a motion to adopt that resolution? Motion. Motion by Trustee Howard, second by Trustee Livesey. May I have roll call? Trustee Howard? Aye. Trustee Livesey? Aye. Trustee DeSalvo? Yes. Mayor DiNaprio? Aye. Motion carries. Thank you so much. Okay. So we continue now, right? Okay. So next on the agenda is a street sweeper. So we've talked about the street sweeper. We've uh, had the demo down here. Uh, we've have seen how it works, it's et cetera, et cetera. Now, you all, uh, we've met with Ralph, uh, then you still want more numbers, and I put them in writing. I don't know if you have them, but you have, that's it there, Merv, I think? Yes, that's it right here. Uh, it, no, I got it here, the street sweeper. Um, 10 years, 1.5%, one, 1 10 years, 2%, 10 years, 2.5%. And, and then there's a category for 15 years at the same different percents. Do you have it, Jim? Yep. Okay. So, uh, you, the borrowing would be 260. Um, in general, I think we concur that we don't want to fix the one we have now for different reasons that make sense. Um, I do also want to add this. Uh, it only happened by chance. It wasn't that it was arranged. But yesterday, uh, a street sweeper showed up up here in parking lot two and. John Jones was there, Tim Green was there, and Brent was there and uh, did a little demo. It's a different company out of Albany who just took over this um, line, if you will, and they had a, a street sweeper there. I will tell you, since you all saw the last one, it was similar in size. Um, less brooms, um, uh, different other things that weren't there that the one that we saw over at Roe Park has. Now, um, I will tell you that the cost, which I also, you have it there, um, with, um, I don't want to call it extras, but things that it didn't have that John Jones thought it should have, when you add all those things up, this one comes to uh, 123538 When you see source well total, that's like state bid. So it's really 144,634, knocked it down to 123,538. Now, um, I told the guys yesterday, those three guys that work for us, to think about it. Think about what you saw, think about the, the demo that we saw. And I said, let's meet tomorrow morning and you guys tell me how you feel. Obviously the price was good. So I met with the guys this morning. I did not tell them how I felt. I wanted to know how they felt before I told them what I thought. Well, I, I, it's funny because I said this to them. I, all three got to speak, and I said, uh, wow, you all said what I was going to say. But you said it first before you knew my opinion. And all three do not, are not recommend, are not, they are not recommending this one that we saw yesterday uh, for reasons like... Uh, not that it's too cheap, but that Tim was afraid it might not last that long. Um, it doesn't have the things that are needed, that we feel we need it, that the other one does have. Uh, we took it down the village garage, and um, I took some stuff out of the trash can, paper goods and cans, and put them on the ground. 
And because um, I know what the other one did when I looked at it, it did it, it, it did pick up those items, but I'll tell you what, it did not pick up. I was I didn't say anything because the the owners were there and whatever. I didn't want to say anything. But the the road in front of the highway garage down at the bottom had a, a layer of gravel, regular gravel, not rock. I'm not talking rocks, I'm talking regular gravel. He went down, he turned around, he came back up. And it was all there. It was all there. I didn't. We all noticed that, and we all brought that point up today. So, I told the guys this morning I would tell you exactly what they said, and that's exactly what they said. So, uh, so where are we? Where can we be? What do you want to do here? So we're two hundred sixty thousand. We're two fifty seven five fifty. Uh, I was able to work the guy up, taking giving us twelve thousand for hours, which mm -hmm. no one thought we would, could get. Not that that's a lot of money, right. but it's so let's a say, piece of poo poo. Let's say two forty then. I have it down to two forty. Let's say two forty six. Two forty six. Yeah. The other one is one thirty five. What is the motor in this one and what is the motor in the other one? Do you know that? Or is that if you don't, that's okay. No, but... This one's 125. 125. Yeah. Which, which way you talking No, no here. The one we just talked about. You, you yeah, have, no, 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 I know. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. You have... Here, here's the one that we saw yesterday and yeah. the price is on the second sheet. Right. Take a second. Take a second. <clears throat> you have... You have... I'll, I'll get it when you finish it. I think it's, you have it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's in your box. Oh, I thought it came in here. Okay, I'll, I'll I'm sorry. No, it's not. Thank you. I'll get a hold of it. Jim, yeah. what's your opinion? I don't know. The other one's $140,000 more. So. I, as, as we know for me, I, you know, I always hold my reserve that I just worry about the trucks. I just worry about the trucks. That's what I'm worried about. Especially if it's a if it's a hard winter, and if they were to say to you, hey, listen, one of the trucks is down. We need to get a truck. It just makes me wonder, at this time of the year where we are, and with the roads, what they look like, the roads are sloppy and they're going to remain looking sloppy until they got a nice, smooth coat on them. And that's, I, I just... I don't disagree like, with anything you're saying, but I also will yeah. just add this that I'm looking at the streets that Central Hudson has not gone on. Mm -hmm. But I'm also they're, start, gonna, they're gonna need a street sweeper soon. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm also gonna say this, that we do have somebody that's running the DPW and if his credibility is saying to us that's what he thinks is that we need to have down there. I'll go along with that. If that's, if that's what he thinks that is more, you know. The other issue is, if we didn't do what the other one did with the gravel, my cost is how much more money is going to be put into the lesser model for broom, for uh, all the other equipment that the one we saw has. You stated that it doesn't have the same equipment that the... Yes, yeah, some equipment can be retrofitted that the other one has, that we saw over at Roe Park, but some of what the one over at Roe Park has cannot. Can I see that one with Yeah. What's the cost of getting purchasing new stuff? Um, say that again? What is the cost of purchasing brushes and things for this new one that you saw on Lot 2? Well, it does come with a, a, it will come with a brush, okay, a broom, but not some of the other equipment that they want. Correct, correct. correct. That's correct. All right. And the other one is it didn't do the job with the gravel. No, it 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 it, no, it did not. I, I, it was actually starping. I was surprised. Now I will say this: that the guy blamed it. It was pointed out in a nice way, and the guy said, "Well, the road's uneven," meaning Haven's Road. Well. All of our roads are uneven, <laughs> to some degree. Well, we 
tested the other one out the park, those roads weren't even either. You can right. Right. This way. You could almost buy two of these for the price of the other one. Do you have the information on the other one? Mm -hmm. Can I see that? Mm -hmm. Did they, did they talk, did Sorry. No, no, I just, want, I just want to look at some. No, definitely. Did this guy talk about that we'll do the mechanic, we'll send people to school, we'll no. come down and drive it, we'll no. come down and train people? No. First of all, I, 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 it's just me. It's the way, I, it's just me. We'd be buying it from a distributor who hasn't sold one yet. He just took this line on, if you will. Does it come with a warranty? Like that one did? Yeah. Uh, five years. Five years? So they both have five-year warranties. Yes, but he doesn't talk about maintaining, training people, and that thing, right? And everybody can be trained on how to drive it, and that he was going to show. The you other that. one that everyone seems to like. Uh, this was uh, this was uh, what they're saying that they would give us. Yeah. And no charge. Todd, were you there when we first saw it? I was not. There. Oh, he, never, you know. he said that he would take Tim and train him mechanically. Is, is the, is the uh, Raptor? Yes. Is the Raptor 2 any worse than what we have now? It would be better than what we have now. Which one? The, the one for 123. Is it better than what we have now? Yeah, you think it'll work? I mean, you think it'll work better than what we have now? I mean, which is not working, but what if it was working? Um, I have to, my, well, that's a question nobody, I, what that was not asked. My opinion is when ours that is no longer working was working, would be better than this. Would but be that's, better than this. Yeah, that's my opinion. You have to ask the other guys. Um, one of the things, look, it's not the, I'm just pointing things out. Uh, you remember the one over at Roe Park? There was a lot of garbage bags, boxes. I remember a pizza box or something. Um, it picked it all up right in front of us. But this one, um, there's a hose, maybe this a black hose like this, this large. And it will not pick up anything larger than that. Which is large. I'm not saying it's small hose, a suction. You know, I'm just saying that the other one would pick up. Now, I I don't see pizza boxes in the street, so I'm not saying like we have a problem with pizza boxes. No, I This one didn't have cameras. That, I'm thinking of something now, and but they said they could put cameras in. Mm -hmm. uh, and the quota has uh, multi-view cameras. Then he put them in. Yeah. I think originally the price was 108, and I think with some things they said yes, they for sure they want it. It yeah. raised it to that. Cadillac, but if making it has, if, if it having more makes it kind of like, then yeah. Well, I gotta move on, but so 
If someone wants to say something, make a motion. I'll make a motion, put it to vote. Yeah. What do you want, Brian? What do you want motion is what do you want to make a motion? Yeah. Good. I'll make a motion to select a street sweeper. But which one? For me? Yeah. The first one that we saw. Okay. Um, because of the maintenance and the guarantees yeah. and the stuff that the guy told us. Yeah. And he's more he's been doing this for a longer period of time. Yeah. I will, I, 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 I will second that. That's fine. So we have a motion and we have a second. Um, roll call. Trustee Albert? Aye. Trustee Lindsay? Mm -hmm. This is a tough one. The only thing is with this street sweeper, I mean, we're, we're talking getting. I'm going to stick with the number $200,000 street sweeper. I certainly would like to see the first initial cleanup of the roads. The first initial cleanup of the roads when they are all done and ready to be cleaned up. I think it would be wise to say, let's rent one right now so it doesn't take that beating. Uh, and and the, only, the only reason I say that is because that's going to be a lot of blacktop. That thing's going to pick up. It's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot of wear and tear on that. On that we machine. have no intention of using, no matter which um, street sweeper we have, to do anything with the blacktop. The what we did, we actually last year we purchased a, a, a power broom for the actual skid steer. So what they've been using, they, both they, pre and at, before and after we do the blacktopping, we're doing pre cleanup with the with the power broom and then post. Okay, uh, so black top and we're using that as well a couple days later to go back to pick up whatever was okay, left so, behind. So I just want to get this clear now, just so so it's out there, okay? Because I, I came down to the mayor's office and you know the guys with the putting in the gas lines, you know, I said to Joe because somebody told me they're not cleaning up any of their roads. And sure enough they had a skid steer and they were going along and they were brewing it and they were sweeping it all up and everything else. But what I'd like to say though now you're saying to me that the then the initial cleanup after the roads will be done by the guys doing the blacktop. No, they'll be done by our people with the power room that we purchased last year for the for the for the, for the, the little one like you. Like okay, you. so that's the one that you're going to use. Yes. Yeah. To clean everything. It, act it actually does a, a better well. So we did, did a better job than what. So we're not going to see a two hundred thousand dollar machine out there. I, I I tell you right now, it, it, I would tell them to never do that with that machine. That needs to be the okay, power. Are we all good with that? We have that smaller one that you showed me a picture of. Right. It's this, I tell you what we have. Yeah. Exactly. The picture you showed, oh, yeah. that move, that uh, it's video, yeah. that, machine. that machine, if I'm right, belonged to Central Hudson. Yes. That's what we have also. You have that. Exact thing. And the town has that. But again, as you know, okay, blacktop in this heat here, you'd swear it never cures. Yep. Okay? And what it does is once it starts getting in them brushes, it's going to stick. Mm -hmm. That's, as long as we're good on that layer that, listen, you know. Todd, you're saying. I, I'm saying no matter what, what, no matter if you buy the, the cheaper one, the more expensive one, my, what I'm going to tell John or I'll tell the mayor, I should tell John everybody, we should not use that machine at all until after. And we did it last week. Time. A couple of weeks after, okay. we've already done the black topping and done a couple sweeping with the power room. On the skid steer before we ever put that into, into action on a newly paved road. Okay, so that makes me feel good. That the new machine won't. And that's exactly it, Mark. I will tell you that. Okay, because because we used the sweeper for the milling last time. We did not use the power sweeper for the milling. Well, no, we used the street sweeper too. I, I saw it. I was there. Big. Because I don't, Mike Jones was driving the thing. Okay, because that's that's what we don't want to do. Because no, I, before I, you know it, you're going to see. I don't remember that. But. I don't remember. That. I mean, it, I'm not saying it didn't happen because I wasn't here the whole time. But it was always discussed that was why we wanted the power the power room because there's no way you're going to be able to do that with the street sweeper and keep the street sweeper operating properly. Thank you very much for saying that. And that's that's exactly it. I'll second Brian's. No, 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 I did, but you're oh, going to vote oh, yes or no. Hi. Trust Zalva. No. Mayor Aye. Motion carries. Thank you so much. Okay, but we put that on the table. Oh, uh, no, 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 no one's going to, no. Uh, do, Gina, we, do we put in the motion how much we're going to spend? Uh, no, but uh, I will tell you, uh, 
We should do that now. That the, that should have been part of the motion. So uh, if Brian would make another motion that the borrowing. Um, hold on one second. Two forty-five. Ralph won't like this because he likes to go a little higher to when he borrows so that you can always give it back the part you don't use. But I'm going to hold it tight. I'm going to say 260 if you would make a motion because I have it down as $245,500.82. So I know that's $15,000 close. Ralph would say borrow 300, but I'm going to ask you. How about borrowing 300? I would ask you to say 260. Make a motion that we purchase that for 260. That we bond for 260. We bond. We bond for 260. Second. Second by Trustee Livesey. And roll call. Trustee Howard? Aye. Trustee Livesey? Aye. Trustee DeSalvo? No. Mayor Dinocchio? Aye. And Todd, if you could. Uh, I will say, I, I think that that needs to be told, you know. That's Not only myself, I think it'd probably be best to have a, a memo come from the village board to say that's a mandatory that thing. That this, that this you'll is you'll destroy. You'll destroy. It. Mm -hmm. You'll destroy it, and then they'll be saying to the mayor, "We need to talk." And I would also put in there: anybody who uses that machine has to go for training. Mm -hmm. All right. Next on the agenda is street paving. You have information in your boxes that I gave you. Mm -hmm. That's what you wanted. Um, the street paving on the streets that you can either add or subtract. If you subtract it, we would know tonight the you know the amount. But uh, uh, this adds up to three hundred and four thousand two hundred seventeen dollars and seventy seven cents. Now, to that amount, still has to go, of course. Um, uh, no tax code is included. Uh, but milling, milling yeah. uh, possibly milling disposal, although we made out the last time. Mm -hmm. We also made out on the milling. Mm -hmm. um, profiling, utility adjustments, um, striping, etc. So um, while it doesn't have the exact amount, it does have the exact amount for each street what it will cost. The estimated cost. Estimated cost. Yeah. Um, you have uh, paving before you of uh, uh, examples of 400,000 for 10 years and 15 years. You also have the amount for legal fees for bonding. All that you wanted what did, what to did make Ralph a decision. What did say? 10 years and 15. What did he? What he did he, he didn't. He only he only gave us the price. It's up to us. Uh, you know. Did he lean on any? I mean. No, he didn't, Merv, to be honest with he, you. I was there with him and he... Huh? Yeah, but he didn't suggest. Yeah. He said, what, 15? I, I was there with him and, and what he did really it? said that it's not going to matter either way. The, 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 the percentage? The percentage is, you're so low, I mean, you're you're looking at maybe 1.5%. Yeah, we think it'll be the 1.5. Yeah, we think it's going to be the 1.5. At that point, you're... It might be lower. It might, it might yeah. So, he, he didn't really lean one way or another. He just gave the options of 10 to 15 he said you're not going to be hurting with the ten. So, like, so let me ask you a question, row, right, row? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're just only a small portion of row. It's where Central Hudson is doing their work, which would be off of Berry Hill, right? To 200 feet to the when you're coming down Berry Hill, I think it's 150 feet to the right, and then uh, out to Wind Out on the left. Well, actually, it's more than that. Is it well, wherever there's yeah, wherever, wherever Central Hudson stops? Goes, goes past right? Cold Falls. It goes yeah, yeah. past Cold Falls all the way down. Right. Almost That's there. correct. Well, okay, you're going, but you're going around on the other end. And That's that, correct. That is included to go over by the pool towards Wal uh, uh, Walnut, right? Right. Yeah. Yes. Past, it goes past the Walnut as well. Yes. Because we're doing. That's one. Does that? Why not becomes row there? Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. So, and yeah. Mer, 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 what Merv asked you, the answer is yes. Yes. Okay. I think Merv, uh, what happens is uh, the ward thought that that was still why not going past the park on that side. Right. So they took it like a hundred feet past the Walnut. Uh, and, and wasn't there a, uh, a couple roads that were not put gas lines, but they were roads that needed to be paved? Let's see. That was Wine Terrace, right? Down the Wine Terrace? I mean, yeah. list you email them. I think I have 12 or 15 roads on it. Wine Terrace is not having gas lines. Saddley Road is not having. Laurel Lane is not having. 
Uh, those there's three. Uh, there's three right there. Cooks. Oh no, cooks did that. Cooks, they're going to do the yeah. Those are based on just the, the condition of the road, and they're. And those are in this. They're in the proposal. They're in the proposal. Yes. And remember too, whatever it's worth to you guys is that uh, <clears throat> we have um, um, received from the state that will received uh, that we will receive seventy six. Uh, a little under 77,000 from chips and uh, bad winter roads, etc. money they give out, uh, paved New York. Now, it's also, you know, in here that the governor has allowed himself, if he wishes, to uh, pull back 20%. So it's either going to be a little under 77,000 or 20% less. Um, also, uh, we do have the uh, Central Hudson money that Todd and I are negotiating uh, with them, um, but you can um, you can probably count on uh, I can say an amount yeah. about one twenty five one thirty five. So, so I'm sorry. Go ahead. That would go towards. So, so excellent. That's excellent. So do we need four hundred then? No. That's Ralph. That's what I'm. Uh, Ralph always goes high. So Again, I want to make something clear on TV here. We give it back. Say we spent two hundred. Here, we never take the I'm other two. I'm always worried about. That. I know Ralph, you know. Ralph, said, Ralph had brought up a good point because right now it's, it's easier to to go lower. It's it's very hard to go higher. And your three to five thousand dollars that it costs to actually have the bond put into place. If you go one penny more. Then, then the 300 you do, now you are into another. Well, but if, if we're doing 400 and you're getting 100 and we have, say, well, 50,000 out of the 77, I mean. We works. figured it out the other day, and, and with those numbers into play, with everything the mayor had on top of some money that needs to go in for yeah. some, some other stuff that's there, a si sidewalk potentially that we want to do and stuff like that, when you tie the whole thing together, we came up with $305,000, which is what the number was after everything came into yeah. play. So let me so, say let me say what he, I'm saying, not that you didn't understand, yeah, yeah. but but the road, with the road, uh, when we borrow the money to do the roads, we also have to have a piece in there for the sidewalk, because uh, we still have some of Larkin's money, but not enough. So, okay, I'm glad you got it. But that's why it really... Now, will it be under four still? I think so. Yeah. So, I'm well, gonna, but, I But... I got This is a sensitive question for me because I actually live on this one road, but my concern is... Mountain Avenue. Mountain Avenue. Now, the state... Is the state going to take care of Mountain Avenue? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Central we, we, Hudson. Central Hudson. Central, Central, yeah, we don't. Yeah, we Central don't. Hudson has to repay... With, I don't know how strict. I don't know if they're as strict as I am with Central Hudson. Okay. I hope they are. Be because I'm already working with Brian Sweeney, who's the foreman at, at Central Hudson, and I've already instructed him that he wasn't here when we had issues with Mountain Avenue before, and it's in Precision Pipe not doing what they needed to do there. Okay, so this this is my concern. Joe. Yeah. This is my concern. If you go down Burns, mm -hmm. okay, you're on Mountain Avenue, you take a left going out to Burns. That's a problem child area, right? There. Mm -hmm. You know that. There's yep, drill marks all over. Yep. Right before the bridge. The bridge now, and I'll we'll be happy to meet you up there, mm -hmm. has to be torn apart. The top layer, the black top. Okay. Because of the pressure of the trucks going over it, they've cracked it all up. As a matter of fact, the excavator tracks drove into the pavement going into Merns now. So is that going to be blacktop from the beginning of Merge? Yeah, we. Or is it going to be after the bridge, Eagle Valley Merge? No, it's going to be. I have it the, the blacktop from the beginning, right from Mountain Avenue across the bridge. So okay, this the bridge, bridge is going to have to be the, peeled back the asphalt, put new asphalt over the bridge, so it's all one continuous uh, piece of asphalt up Eagle Valley and all the way to the big rock on Merge. But this leads into my That's second, nice my, yeah. my second part though. All the roads get paved, mm -hmm. okay? All of a sudden, I smell gas. Somebody says, I smell gas. Central Hudson has to come back. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know is they're chopping into the road. We don't want a patch job. You know what I'm saying? It, that's got to be then cut out. You know what I'm saying, Todd, right? Yep, I do. It, it's got to be cut. Or are they going to cut it? 
Because that's important. They, it has to, it has to be cut. They can't, they can't put it back. I, I agree with you completely. Uh, mm -hmm. They, 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 we're gonna get that into writing with them. We have. You're I'm right. not sure. You're I'm not sure. If you, I'm not sure if you know this, but the the village has actually been has received a curb cut or a, a road opening permit for every single service connection that's been done so far. So we are holding money. We're getting, we're receiving money for them. Uh, $250, $250 for every, every single one. We're getting $250 on top of the money we talked about before. On top of that, they are also they have a bond, I believe, an overarching bond that's in place there too that we can go back mm -hmm. on to make sure that they fix what they need to do. We have, I can tell you that the mayor can, I think, will agree with me. We have a great relationship with Central Hudson right now. They, there's nobody else that they're cutting checks to like they are to the village right now to get things done. I think that any phone call from from the mayor to Brian Sweeney or to Tom pa uh, Palmer will result in something being fixed the way we want it to be fixed, with no issues, resealed, almost like like Donardo did. If you if you've been over on yeah. Grove Park. And you saw he, he sealed the joints on everything. He didn't well, well, this, th yeah. this, this is where I'm going because, mm -hmm. you know, you, you just don't know. I mean, exactly. you could say, hey, listen, we did a gas line and we did a repair, but you don't know. And I, I, I don't mean to sound negative, but we all know that you're going to have a gas leak. Somewhere there's going to be a gas leak and they're going to say, we can both come down and they're going to cut up their boat. Mm -hmm. So I just like to make sure that it is in the contract mm -hmm. that says that. I think that the mayor, mayor, you tell me if I'm wrong. I think what we can do is request as part of this next sign off, saying that we're we're gonna repay them with the money they receive. We can have a clause like that that Elise is okay with that gives us the ability. Still, they, they dropped off, and I'm not sure why. It, Mary Jane says that the Zoom meeting ended. It ended. Maybe her said she said the Zoom yeah, ended. Sometimes it goes more than 45 minutes. Well, that's okay. Not to get into that, but if if that could happen and that could be seen, you know, like where well, we could read that in a contract, that that's a good point. Put oh, okay. contract. yeah, we'll, we'll put it in the contract. You would, and and, they'll have and I'm glad you mentioned what they did with the seal and everything yeah. else, because that's the kind of repair I'm talking about. Yes, yeah. I'm not talking about. Are we on TV now? Yes. Yeah, yeah just third off. That'd be nice. That. <laughs> I'm, I'm not talking about you know the chop chops. No, I understand. Yep. I'm sure the mayor remember we did Clyde's Avenue. It was maybe a week after uh, we finally it, it wasn't even. It was the it next day they came and they cut it open. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's gonna happen. So here's what we've done: is we've tried to meet. We, we've worked with every one of the different um, utilities out here, making sure that they're set. The biggest one, obviously, is Central Hudson, and, they, and they've gotten ahead. All this work they're doing right now, they had no intentions of doing 18 months ago when we first started. Up. We told them what our plan was. We had them ready. We brought them in. We had sat down and said, "Here's what we'd like to do." But how does that affect what you want to do? They gave us their ten, their, their one year, five year, ten year plan, and we said, "You need to escalate everything now to get it, it all under the two year plan because we want to do this and we don't want to pave a road and then two years later you come and rip it out." So they said, "We're happy with that. We can we can make that work. And not only will we make it work, we'll give you money to repave the road instead of having to have our contractor do it." So right now we're at the point where we're probably going to be in the last the last twelve months receiving somewhere in the neighborhood of two hundred sixty to two hundred sixty five thousand dollars from Central Hudson to, to redo roads. And my last question, this is it. Last question of concern: catch basins. Is there any that are sinking? Catch basins that are sinking. We didn't do any catch basin. You mean around the catch basins? Where they're going to be paid? Uh... I don't know, but look, I'll take. We'll take a look at that. And we'll. I'll go through with John Jones, and we'll make sure if we have any issues. I do know when we did this, the one catch basin with the last pavement we did on Center Street that's still an issue is the one right on the left hand side of the road as you're going out. And, up. and we did everything we could to try to get that to be right. It wasn't a contractor's issue. It's just a, a catch basin that's probably 120 years old. Yeah. One of those old real. But you really don't want to do that either, where you're going to black out and then. Correct. But I also didn't want to get into a can of worms over there trying to rip that out and put something new in there and, and spend $50,000 trying to fix it. They probably have lifts down there and everything else. So. Yeah. So I, I think I think we'll be good with that, but I, that is something that we'll definitely check. And I know I had an inspector on the job when we were doing it the, the last time, and I can tell you the guys that did the milling were fantastic. They, I mean, I, I think you were out there and saw them. They'd mark it up. And, and running that machine the way they did is just amazing. Be able to take what you want, tell me how you want it profiled, and it, it, you know that that same crew will be coming back to do the same thing again. So.
Well, I'm good with this. What do you need the motion? I, well, I, I, I need a motion, but um, we need to say in the motion and not only the amount, but what you, uh, how many, uh, what do you want Ralph to do as far as uh, years? I'll make, okay. a, I'll make a motion to uh, authorize the treasurer to go out for bonding uh, for an amount not to exceed 350 that be enough? I, count the I, I, I don't want to take a chance, Jim. If I'm counting the one and the quarter and the 50,000 in chips, that's that's over $500,000. You think you want any more than that? Over 500? Yeah, you said 120, 125 to 135. Well, 50 we're something. looking for, the, the figures you have are on 400,000. Right, which we got with 135 from Central Hudson and 350,000 in London. That's 485,000 mm -hmm. dollars. I think I think you may run into some. And we got to keep the sidewalks in line. Plus another 70,000 in chips. Make the motion. I'm just. I listen. I don't normally agree with Ralph's philosophy. That's what it is. It's a philosophy. He's the treasurer, and we have to listen to him. And I don't normally agree with borrowing more than what we have to. I understand why you would want to, just in case, you know. In this particular case, I actually do agree with the four. And if we don't Not, use it, we could always say, hey, listen, we didn't use this. We don't even borrow it. Take it back. Yeah. We don't even. You, you have a year to use, I think it's correct, right? You have a year to use what you need, and then at that point, it turns into the actual, you know, that's your dollar figure that you move forward with. So if you use 300, you use 300, you pay the, the, based on that. Make a motion. I'll make a motion that we, uh, I think if it doesn't matter to Ralph and it's both the same, I think it would be safe to say a 15 year. Just, I would put not to exceed 15 years. Yeah, not, not to that. exceed 15 years because we don't know what's in the forecast. So you want to do a 15 year borrow? 15 year borrow. Well, I would say not to exceed. See if he can find whatever better rate is. It's 15 or 10 years, whatever the better rate is. You okay. didn't say the dollar amount. I'm sorry? You don't have the dollar amount. Well, dollar amount would be 400000 mm -hmm. Not to exceed. Not to hopefully exceed. Hopefully it won't. Hopefully we we'll, won't. We'll, maybe we'll need 350 360 Right. Is that a full motion, Gina, of what we need? Yeah, not to exceed $400,000 and not to exceed 15 years. Is there a second? Second. Second by Trustee Howard. May I have roll call? Trustee Howard? Aye. Trustee Lizzie? Aye. Trustee DeSalvo? Yes. Mayor DeNarco? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you so much. You and really, we're. Tim, do you really think that would that lower than the rates on that? Yeah, the school just. School just did their bond for, and they got 0.77. So I, you probably, you probably will probably be around one, one or under. That's why I'm saying whether he looks at 10, 10 years or 15 years, just go with the better rate. Yeah. At one percent, you're under inflation, right? I mean, it's municipal borrowing, so it's fantasy. Land, so. Yeah. <coughs> and uh, we'll have the. Uh, the contractor who was awarded the bid to do the sidewalks on West Point Highway, which will start soon, uh, soon he'll give us a bid. For Main, soon he'll give us a quote for Main Street sidewalks, because Matt Keller opted out. Now, the good news is at this point, the price he's talking about, for which we're still working on to come down, is actually lower than what Keller had. So we're in good shape there. Yes. Okay. Uh, police vehicles. So uh, there's no issue with the police vehicles. In his budget, uh, and we talked about this during budget time, he was supposed to go out and find the cost of a vehicle and the cost of leasing. And he, he came back with whatever, I don't, we have the information that leasing was better or the way to go anyway. And, uh, um, I didn't sign off on this because I wanted us to have a discussion first on um, 
possibly only getting one at this point, and maybe one in September, October, after we see how bad, which we know it's going to be bad, the revenue is. Um, but then further checking, we can still do this without holding back. He uh, has, uh, in the new budget that just started June 1, he has $25,000 in there for equipment, which is for cars. So um, the uh, lease payment is, uh, if I'm reading it right, is 28501 So he's a little short. He can take the remainder out uh, out of uh, reserve funds, for which he has for equipment, for vehicles. So maybe he, he'll be able to tap into that for the difference. That'll make up the difference from the 25 that's in the budget. Um, the only, uh, and then also what he'll have to do, if I'm correct, if I'm correct, there'll be money in there to put the bells and the whistles on. And then there'll be money needed to put um, Village of Holland Falls uh, uh, and all that. So that should come out of his, uh, he can find out where they, he can take that out of reserve funds for vehicles or he can take it out of something else that's up to him. But it's not going to come out of us. It has to come out of his budget. Uh, the only other thing is, uh, and I'll make sure this doesn't happen again for me, um, he never came and talked to us about what kind of vehicles. Uh, I guess I thought we were getting two cars, but we're getting two SUVs. Now SUVs to me, not knowing a lot about costs, I would think are more than cars. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, I would think the maintenance on an SUV is more than a car. So I wish that he had come and talked to us before he went and, and, and did whatever he did. So um, right now we have five cars and two SUVs. So we'll be getting rid of two cars, leaving three cars and four SUVs. Um, I don't know that we need SUV. I don't know that we need four SUVs, but that's what we're going to end up with this time. But uh, that won't happen again as far as not communicating with us on a type of vehicle that you want to go out and lease or buy. In this case, lease. So, um, do we need a motion, uh, Gina, for this? Yeah, Mr. Wanted to motion for the treasurer to sign the lease paperwork. Okay, so. that would be a motion if someone wanted to make. So it. moved. We're Sir? looking for one vehicle. No, two. two. I. That was my. That was my only. My only point was, maybe we could start to find some money. Because I tell you what, we're going to have to start to find some money. Uh, I, I, think uh, it, I think. I think. And then uh, that's when I found out they were SUVs, not cars. I think for you saying to purchase one now and then to wait till September to find out where we are is probably a better method. It's not a, I don't think it's a purchase. I think it's like well, not a purchase. It's, it's what we did last time. Yeah, it's a lease. And I, I don't mean a purchase. It's better. Yeah, it's cheaper. It's cheaper. Cheaper for what? To, for for cash flow purposes. To get both at the same time? It's, you're getting the 28 grand for two cars. And what would you get? What would it be for one car? You're not not twenty eight grand. Yeah. Well, of course not. Right. He's going to get two. Uh, get two for twenty eight. Buying one would that. not be twenty eight. You're buying one. Well, what if you lease one? Is what I'm saying. I would probably obviously it would be less. Right. That's I'm my point. point. Because I wrote that here, we're leasing. Are we leasing or buying? Well, it's uh, a lease with a buy at the end. Right. Right. Which is what we approved budget. Right. right. We approved two vehicles. Right. 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 So, so basically, we, well, even if you were to get one vehicle until September, he, he has that money. That's that's the agreement we made as a board. He would get two vehicles. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So we're not pulling one back from him, right? No. My thought was that maybe we want to start to look. Just because as uh, just because he has the money in his budget doesn't, and this goes with every department, doesn't mean that we're not going to take back. When we find out how much our revenue has come down, we're going to have to find some money. Where are you going to find the money? You're going to find the money in buying less. That's my only point. But he's going to get two SUVs, two SUVs, mm -hmm. for 28000 A year. Right. Not one year, for th uh, three. The total price will be uh, 85, 85 something. Like if you went and bought two, because you're spreading it out. Yeah. So it's better for your cash flow. 
have a motion on the floor. Mm -hmm. And the motion is? To the treasurer to sign the paperwork for the lease vehicles. For the two lease vehicles. Okay. okay is there a second? Do we? Do we? Well, this motion that we want to say we'll wait and then. No, this motion is to buy two now. At least, At least two now. Say, I know. I, but, I'm sorry. But but it's leased for the first three years. Is that right? No, no. It's you lease the two vehicles, spread out in three-year payments, and at the end of the year you get them for a dollar. So you're basically buying two new vehicles to replace a fleet that you're buying, is old. What was that price? Eighty-four thousand dollars. Yeah, which is basically if you went and bought one, it'd be forty-five grand. And I don't know that Ford makes the sedan anymore, so you'd have to go to the. I believe uh, Dodge is making the new Interceptor, which so, I believe is warm up. So we'll be paying $42,000 for each one of these today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's a motion. Is there going to be a second? I'd like to have some conversation on the idea that if the Ford isn't making what they're making, we've got to look at something else? No, no. I believe they're not making the sedan. I think they're making the SUV. Smaller. 6.4. Which is basically the same chassis, the same engine, the same pretty much everything as the car. It might even be the same weight. I think, it's, I think it's pretty much the same everything because I think it's, it's, they're it's both all wheel drive, they, they have everything the same. I just think Ford's getting out of the car business. What, what two cars is this replacing? The, probably the two are older cars that have, you know, 160,000 miles on it that are probably, you know. Is that how much they have on it? Oh, some of them do. He needs them. But there's, it's, there's a need for them. It's replacing them. It's not, yeah, we're not adding. We're not, we're not adding, adding the fleet. Yeah, we're, if we had seven cars, we're not adding two more to have nine. Mm -hmm. I'll second. Roll call. Trustee Allard. Aye. Trustee Livesey. We do it. Aye. Let's do it. Trustee DeSalvo. Yes. Mayor Denard. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, from now on, though, there will be a discussion with the board right. on any from any department head on any vehicle they want to buy. Right. No one's getting a car launched to go out and order what they want. Okay. Next, we have a retirement uh, part-time police officer Greg Jones, effective June twentieth, twenty twenty. Motion. 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 Um, one, one second. Yeah, that's all I need, right, Gina? To accept that. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Motion by Trustee Howard, second by Trustee DeSavo. All in favor? Greg Jones. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Greg Jones. Before we go into executive session to keep everything out in the open. Has he been here a long time? Greg? He's retired. Long okay. We have a low bid for Mearns Avenue Wall, which is uh, in the area of Dr. Gurgley's house, from Donato, who's been doing a lot of work for us and good work, of 34900 nice Other bids were over, the next bid was uh, almost $5,000 more. How many bids did we get? Two. So that is our wall, then? Yes, clearly is our wall. But the good news is the one down here is. When can they start on it? They're moving on Monday. They're moving to the wall so on the broke. The, so the, the, the wall on the broke, and they could start potentially as soon as that's done. So it's probably two weeks after that. They're really going to get fixed. That's probably starting. You know, you don't know what's We're, going to. I'm watching. Know. I'm watching Merge Avenue, and, and luckily nothing is starting to open up. The the curb is very. Well, eventually, we're going to get to a yeah, point. You don't the, know what's happening. The curve is holding everything back right now. Which yeah. Is good. I make okay. A motion, I make a motion we approve the low bid to fix the Merge Avenue wall. Is there a second? Second. Second. Trustee Lipsy, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. He did a nice job up at the water. Will you notify him? I will. Right? Well, I, I think Gene and I will put together the actual contract, get the insurances, and get all that stuff. Thank you. Right? He did the water. Yeah, he did the water plant too, yeah. Did, did, did everybody look at, at Snyder Avenue? Yes. Yeah. Snyder Avenue is done, and I mean, it is, it is dry as can be there. Just a question for you. Yep. Uh, because that's a tight spot there. How's that going to work? 
He's gonna he's gonna have to have an excavator up on top of it. He's uh, on Gurley? No, up on Mervis. Yeah, well Gurley's probably he's But gonna, I mean an excavator's probably the width of the road. He he's actually gonna build it from Gurley's property with a smaller yeah. excavator up top, yeah. He has to, because he's got to dig out a better fo a footing up there and everything else goes along with it. So he's already met with Mr. Gurgley to go over. There's two trees that are going to have to get ripped out and replaced. So he's to get up there, he, up there he's going well. up. Yeah. So that, that the cost includes re putting all his wild flowers back in, putting in, it, putting it back the way it was before he even gets you know, moved in. Do you know he, puts, he has pears in front of his house? Do you know that? He's got pears in front of his house? Yeah. There's an older couple that walks around Grove Park, and every time I see it, you know what's up? The ground. Would you guys let me continue my meeting? <laughs> this is not like Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, well, anyway, please. You always text the guys first. <laughs> I'm being serious now. Okay, uh, up to date. Uh, today, Trustee Howard and uh, John Jones did interviews uh, for the open position at the water plant. They'll be rec making a recommendation sewer plant they'll be making a recommendation to the board and then in the near future no date's been decided uh, we'll, we'll probably do interviews after we advertise for two openings down the highway department so that's that's the update there uh, um, there were some uh, remarks made at the last village board meeting um, um, now, why was I having our engineer do specs on all kinds of things and why not the RBCs at the sewer plant? Well, I didn't appreciate the question, but that's okay. I get a lot of questions I probably don't appreciate. But uh, the reason uh, that uh, we're still waiting uh, on the RBCs is the following. Um, and this is kind of like information that any of you can find out. You don't need me to do it for you. Um, but uh, for some reason, uh, DEC uh, has not, uh, they've overlooked our sewer plant, not in the inspections because they come often and we always do the best you can do, but giving us a speedies permit. They have, we have one that's around 30 years old. Uh, they do them around five, maybe six years in every sewer plant. So for some reason, they missed us on that. They are doing one now, mm -hmm. and the RBCs, the specs that Todd's doing for the RBCs um, um, that were part of the fire issue um, um, have to be made, the specs have to be made according to what the speedies permit says, and we don't have the, the new speedies permit yet. Okay. So, Again, any of you could have found that out, and, and uh, that's the reason for the delay uh, in the specs for the RBCs. Real simple. Good, good research, easy research. Okay. Um, um, I'm going to, unless there's an objection here tonight, start meters back up on uh, Monday, July 6th. Any objection to that? No. Well, you know, we should be adding to what you just spoke about with the, the, the drawings that you're doing, is that they're not coming after us because they didn't have it ready for us to do. Oh, you're talking about the, he's talking about the sewer plan, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, they can't say, well, we're going to find you because we're 30 years late. That doesn't we, make sense. No, no, they, yeah, that, that will Thank not you. happen. I think the other question that comes out of this, though, is the fact that we are operating without a whole line of RBCs right now, but the DECs, I've been in constant contact with them about yeah. that, so they know the status of the plant right now. We are continuing to meet uh, right. permits, so that's not an issue. But really what I don't want to do is put out a bid that we then have to change, because right now the, the insurance company is paying for this bid. Right. If we put in RBCs right now that meet the old speedies permit, and they modify a requirement in there, then we could potentially have to do two projects in a row which the village, we should not do that. It's the only reason I bring it up is so people don't think that you're going to get fined. We're not. Right. It's 30 years old. It's like catch 22. Yeah. Once it's done, then we can proceed. 
Yeah. You, you, you're lucky enough that your water body that you dump into is the Hudson River, so right. it's so large. Right. It's the, one of the last things that the actual DEC right. looks at. They're more concerned with the, the rivers that are, the smaller rivers that are going to Small reservoirs and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, so. Okay. So, th and that, thank you, because I, that was also said, so that's been corrected now. So, uh, any objection to starting the meters on July 6th? We still have our meter day, right? Yes, he'll, and he'll come back to work then. Yeah. Okay. He's a good guy. Um, Mary Jane to put a notice here? Yeah. Um, I brought up unemployment the other day on what we're contributing for certain employees. I am still actually even more very, very unhappy about some of our these employees putting in for unemployment. Makes no sense to me, and uh, it's not right. It's not right. We'll talk about it another time, maybe. But, but Tina, you're putting in a... With the police department, too, that, that, that yeah, we're gentleman? We don't get along with it. Unbelievable. Right? Unbelievable. Okay. Uh, pool cover, we had a price of a little under 6000 as the from B&B &B who did the work. They're a little cheaper than the next guy. But uh, we realized that now there has to be a cutout uh, for the, for the, for the uh, ladder. So we're getting a revised. revised quote. Might be a couple hundred dollars more. Mm -hmm. Um... um Okay, just give me a break here. Okay, 8991 Mountain Avenue, that's that water lateral that services both houses. Uh, it's um, not solved yet. Um, it's a, it's a, uh, it's one of those things in, that were allowed in Holland Falls years ago that should not have been, and now it's coming home to roost. Um, a lot of those involved don't want to take responsibility for the whole lateral. One person wants their own new lateral, which they'll probably be able to do. Uh, we told her actually that she could go ahead and do that. Her comeback, which was fair, well, what about the rest of the line that's in my yard? I don't want to put my own lateral in, dig up my own yard, put the lateral in, and then I still have an issue in my yard, even though the issue is not to my house, but the lateral to the neighbor's house is in, in this yard. So um, what we have to do, I think, we've talked a lot downstairs about it, is to pinpoint where the leak is. That may help a little. Uh, we don't have the proper equipment in our, at our water department. And so I had Jack get a quote from this leak detection company. Um, and it's, uh, I guess it's higher than what I thought. They're out of Connecticut. Uh, sixteen hundred and fifty dollars. You can't call the, the orange county. I did, or? I did, right. and I sent them. And now with the virus, half of them aren't working. Going back and forth, they're working from their house. They notified us the other day. Uh, I'm only laughing, because, and I'm sure you'll find a little grin too. Is that uh, the Orange County Water Authority doesn't have the money? Now I know the Orange County Water Authority to have millions. They have, they have money that they took from us. So the answer was no, because that's where I went. If you want to think about this, but this is, this is, um, how much is it again? 1650. So, can I make a call? Can I make a call? Just give me a week. Can I make, yeah. can I ask a question to you on that? I mean, right now, if you're going to spend $1,650 for that, how much would it cost? For, for the, the village to run the new line out to the house. If Jack had somebody do the digging and, and they put the copper in. We'd have to buy put, a lot of copper. And you you'd have to put two lines in, two laterals. Even even that, I mean, it might be something to look at. It might be cheaper to do that. I don't want to go on private property. I don't want to go on private property. Well, but you're spending money on private property now, though, too. I think we're going to have to do it anyway. All right, you got a week. <laughs> I understand. Okay. Um, if you hear about a sinkhole on top of Snyder, we're up at the top there. Um, there is one, and didn't take long to find out that it's Central Hudson's, yeah. and they've been notified. Uh, playground, um, we're going to open up on the 4th of July. I've had two meetings. The second one was today. 
with the highway department and a couple of their personnel, everything that'll um, have to be done. Um, uh, from cleaning to sanitizing to putting up sanitizer dispensers. Uh, we're getting two signs made. One will come down the steps when, from behind the pavilion, and the other one will be as you enter from on top of Walnut. You'll be able to see these two signs, kind of like some rules to use the sanitizer and stuff like that. Um, but uh, I gave them permission to purchase a backpack with, that, with, that'll spray a disinfectant on, um, and they'll go over to the park. Monday through Friday, first thing in the morning. My question to you is uh, Saturday and Sunday, which would be overtime. What would you like to do? What is it, two, what is a minimum of two hours? Would that come back to us because of the virus? Well, I would definitely put that in the virus folder. Right. Don't know what we're going to get there from FEMA, if anything, but yes, that would definitely go in that folder. I don't think we have a choice, but I want you guys to know about it. Yeah, how long, uh, if they have the backpack thing? Well, they're going to tell me, because I said, I want to know how long it just takes. Now, they don't have to wipe, they just spray, they spray. which is good. Well, I'm just thinking, it, maybe it, it doesn't have... take long, it's, it's a heavy, heavy mist. That yeah, there. no, I'm just thinking, if they're up there for two hours, and it takes them an hour to clean, maybe they can just check the bathrooms if they're up. You know what I mean? If they're there for two hours on the weekends, because yep. sometimes they get a little beat up. But I'm, I'm okay with it. Okay. You're going to send one person up that's the plan now. They, yeah. they, our guys haven't done it, Merv, like you guys have. Yeah. As soon as they do it, they're going to realize how long it takes. You definitely don't need some guys. Okay. And I definitely put it in the folder. Super good. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Executive session. This is unemployment. This is to PBA contract. Okay. Um, we're coming, uh, you've heard me talk about these water leaks. Uh, the one on Liberty Street is done. We're working on 8991 Center. We just got done talking about that. And uh, Todd, uh, Jack Sibley told me today that he was able to order the valve, the 12 inch valve, and it should be here in three weeks. Where do you, awesome. get, it? Where do you get it from? The same place? Probably from the same place. Said it'll be here in three weeks. Yeah. They just have to try to look at it. The valve is oh, no, I understand. 64 years old or so 61 years old. So. Probably one company makes it. I don't even think anybody makes it anymore. I think it's you just have to find one that somebody on that shelf that's been sitting there for 60 years. And we should get to it. Yeah. <laughs> this is the sign, Merv, for Rural Park. It only has, it has a few things there. Mm -hmm. So that's what it'll be. That might not be a bad idea, in all seriousness. Um, with the virus, uh, meetings with the public can take place now up to 25 people. You have to wear a mask and be six foot apart. We don't normally have 25 people. We're waiting on the county to come over and inspect our pool. Once they do that and it passes, we have a permit. Then we'll tell the town we have a permit, and the town can decide what they want to do about lifeguards and opening up the pool. The playground, as I told you, July 4th, with cleanup, sanitizing signs. Uh, I'm going to leave the water fountain off at the for right now over at the literally over at the, the playground bathrooms clean and proper soap etc pavilion uh, we talked this morning they're going to uh, take a couple of the tables out that are underneath the pavilion put them out on the grass so we're a far apart and that's so the conversation in the morning with Orange County Health you said I'm leaving the water fountain off she said by all means yeah. don't put it up yeah so yeah. That should be said so people know. You're going to have to give your kids bottles of water or something. I, I, I honestly, I honestly think this continue to work out in so Yeah. It's not something I would want to put. I really believe that. Get close to Okay, uh, I, this is brief. I just want you to know a tremendous amount of work. Uh, I will say that Todd's done some, but uh, Regina. Uh, she spends days on this, and I mean days. Uh, this is all the grant money that we spent last year on roads and sidewalks. So the Larkin uh, grant for $200,000 for sidewalk has been submitted. It's, it was submitted on May 11th. We're waiting on the reimbursement. Schoolfus is $100,000 for paving, submitted on May 20th. We're waiting. Chips, $120,544. 
submitted on June 1. We're waiting. Pave New York, just shy of 50,000, June 1. We're waiting on it. Uh, uh, EWR, 43,700, June 1. We're waiting on that. It totals up $514,082.48. Um, and then... Uh, Larkin's other grant for 190, which went for West Street, 61,214, was submitted on June 24th. We're waiting on that, and the rest of that, that adds up to 190, is for sidewalks down here. But a tremendous amount of work goes into this, and then it's never gone from us until we actually receive the check. Gina, thank you. Yep. We have to work. Thanks for doing that. How long would those valves last? About 60 years. No, oh, okay. no I, I think that uh, your normal shelf life on something like that is probably 40 years. Okay, so you only need one that we don't need to. I think, I mean, right now, you need one, you definitely, because you have a 30,000 gallon day leak right. right now with the one. Let's get the one fixed and then let's ask them if, if you're okay with the price, maybe you, and, and you have a redundancy, you want a redundancy, maybe you purchase another one because they're not made in so they're finding them. What are we talking about? I'm the, sorry. The, 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 the valve for the water plant. Oh. What, what Brian had brought up was the fact that, and actually Jimmy brought it up too, is that if it's something that's so critical to the plant and they're so hard to find, maybe we might buy, want to buy one and put it on the shelf so that if there's an issue down the road, we got it already. I wonder how much they are. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to yeah, I don't know. We'll Jack and find out. I mean, I mean, it's a 12 inch valve and it's. Totally know we need it. it, it it's probably. And they don't make them anymore. It's probably eight to ten thousand dollars. Might be worth having. Uh, with the water fund, we could do it. Yeah. Especially since you don't want to have a leak for thirty thousand. Right. Yeah. Well, they don't make it anymore. Yeah. So if, if if let's say we let's say we get this one and it works, and then we get it for thirty years, and then it fails, what's it going to cost to put new whatever in there? Mm -hmm. Might be a hundred grand. Yeah. The problem is the plant is. The reason we had to go with that specific one is the plant is so antiquated right. that going to something that's actually more uh, computer-based, we would have to start rewriting right. a lot of stuff in the plant. Right. So well, it's, it's, made a uh, it's a cast iron, uh, iron, you know, cast iron valve with uh, mm -hmm. the guts in there all stainless. Like we get another one. Let's get another one. Okay, so you, uh, this is real quick. I've been talking about walls and sometimes a little update, but. Now I, can, I feel like we're jumping ahead a little bit. So Merns Avenue, we just approved tonight. The two areas over on the brook, Donato is going to do those. We awarded that. The, the one, this one area, the other area was already corrected. Okay. Uh, but we're, yeah. we're, Liberty Street was done. So and uh, Liberty saying. Street was done, and the church is doing theirs. The church is Fine. doing theirs, yeah. Yeah, that's great. I was okay. And uh, Li Liberty Street was done, Snyder was done. Yeah. We also repaved the, uh, the parking lot at the water plant yeah. after the sewer plant. So the next thing is Restore New York. Uh, we were able to get a 90-day uh, extension, which will bring us to some date in September, to get others on board to take the paint off of their brick on Main Street. We know that we have the large building on Matton Avenue, 4 Matton Avenue, that's actually waiting for the job to be done. Uh, we'll have uh, um, those uh, quotes soon. Yeah, the, the specifications for the, the actual uh, architectural specifications are complete. What I'm going to do now is put together just the front end specs okay. that would be to put it out the bid. So, so we'll probably go out the bid here mid-July on that and have an answer mid-August on what the numbers are. We're trying to get ahead of the game because that grant was established as a percentage for each building based on how much work was being done on it. And we believe that the work on that building is going to be higher than $111,000 that it, it, it's a sign based on a percentage. So I'd like to go back to them. If we can get somebody else involved, and any of these other agencies or other properties involved, that'd be great. But if we can't, I want to go back to Restore New York saying, yeah, we can't get anybody else involved, but we, we need this much for this building because we did a bid and here it is. So that's what we're, uh, we're pushing for. It makes sense. Now, with the Restore New York, is there anyone here that would like to approach any of the business owners that have paint on their brick? I was just thinking, they're very specific. It has to be the buildings that were in that application. Gina, I think there were seven more, right? So, so it was the it was the laundromat or the dry cleaners. 
It was this uh, building up here on this side of Sushi King. It was uh, Lamb's building, right, like the first building, that's red, red paint on the red brick. Uh, uh, the, 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 the Don Kong show, or? No. This the gray one, the gray building? The one that the bodega is in, but the gray one too. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then the one that the bodega is in, there's red paint on that red brick. So, and then there's this gray one right here on the corner, Tobin's. Mm -hmm. There's the dry cleaners. There's the rectory at Sacred Heart. Um, there was right here over the bakery next door. There's a uh, there's a uh, what do you call that circular? You know where I mean? Do you guys know? Like an orchestra balcony kind of thing? It's like a balcony. Yeah, you don't. There's windows there. It's that, which isn't much. We have to contact the owners of the building. Yeah, I mean, I think Pentagon. The Pentagon building was. that in? Was that in there too? The Pentagon. I remember. Yes. Yeah. It was called the Pentagon. I don't think. I don't think it is. But no, that was that wasn't that wasn't painted. So we got to contact the owner. The owner. Oh, Rick. The owner, and uh, you know, there are papers that he would have to sign that holds the village harmless. That's when they get a little shaky on doing that, and you know, if there's damage underneath, that it's a little shaky. That's the problem with this. I love that this guy's on board, and he's begging for his building to be done. This is the biggest eyesore in the village hall fall since I was a kid. If we provided him with the paperwork and he walked it right down back he the ran road with it. and ran back into the building with it and said, what are you going to do? If, if, we, <laughs> if we can get the owner's names and I understand the contract, you know, I mean... I have no issue going with you, too, or talking okay. to you. I'll take it out of time. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Right. Winding down here now before we go into executive session. Um, we have the reorganization, consolidation. They call it reorg. We have... We had a grant... A lot of it was spent, not completed. We can say wrong information was given at one point. There is 15,600 left from the state, which we would have to match. Any part of that 15,600, if we spent 10,000 of the state, we would have to spend 10. So, okay. What I'm suggesting and would like approval, of course, is uh, to do. Uh, before we lose this money, um, is to uh, do a police consolidation study. Let's see what those numbers are. Maybe it's time. So I would like a permission to call this to call up the company that showed interest and see if they'll do a partial study, which, which would mean one department, the police department. Motion, Motion by Trustee Livesey. Is there a second? Second. Second by Trustee Howard. May I have roll call? Trustee Howard? Aye. Trustee Lizzie? Aye. Trustee DeSalvo? Yeah. Mayor Dunaco? Aye. Motion carries. I'll get on that right away and keep you informed. All right. Anything else? Yes, sir. Hmm? Oh, thank you, Murr. Oh, my God. Thank you. I don't think I have that paperwork. That's why I didn't. Uh... Oh, I do. I do. I do. My famous words, the last thing. I might not have it yet. Okay, in the uh, in the uh, in this year's budget that we just started is money uh, put aside for Fourth of July, and uh, I called up the town the other day and spoke to the supervisor about money they have in their budget set aside for Fourth of July. And with a voucher from the 4th of July, not the village, uh, made out for that amount, he'll transfer that uh, to our account. Um, I would like the same with the 4th of July money that's in this year's budget in the village. That's what I'm asking for. You need a motion. I'll make a motion. Where are we transferring it to again? To the 4th of July account. I don't know where else it would go. Right? I mean, even this year, with no normal, I need money. 
for which I need to talk to you about. Okay, there's a motion on the floor. Is there a second? Second, second. by Trustee Albert. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I'm sorry, Gina. Do you want me to do something? No, I'm not. I didn't like that look. You want to go? No. <laughs> okay. Um, I have some executive session things, maybe not long, I hope, and I don't need time. If I did, I would. Oh, what do we do there, Gina? What do we have a lease just call in or? I actually don't need a lease for exec this executive session. I always tell her that when I don't need her. Okay. Yeah. Can you do your signing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you need a motion? Motion to go into executive session. Trustee yeah. Howard? Yeah. Second, Jim? Yeah. Second, Jim Casano. All in favor? Opposed? Right. Motion carried. Thank you so much.